Cosmetic formula here to talk about the benzene situation in the sunscreen industry right now. First and foremost, I want to state that we come into contact with benzene on a very regular daily basis when we're out and about. It's not something that's completely new and foreign to us, but it's kind of concerning to us when we see it in cosmetics, understandably so. But if you want more details about the reality of what it looks like, check out Stephen Co, aka Kind of Stephen, on Instagram. He has an entire highlight really explaining the situation in a very easy to understand manner. Also, if you want the list of all the sunscreens involved, check out Valisher. They're the ones who did the investigation and have the list. Worth noting that this really only affected sunscreen sprays. And this is also batch specific. So if you want to know if your sunscreen's involved, check out the list and look for the specific batch number. It's worth noting that this is not the entirety of the sunscreen industry or the entirety of a brand sunscreen lines. It's specific to certain batches of certain products. And also this concept is not necessarily something new to us. We see something similar happen a lot when it comes to E. coli contamination in produce when that happens do we freak out and like stop eating produce entirely no so look at it from that perspective follow for more information